hi welcome to our pharma topics channel welcome to the topic uh, for m farm uh, principles of uh, drug discovery lead optimization so lead compounds uh, discovered uh, in hit to lead process are chemically modified to get a biologically active molecule is called lead optimization lead optimization addresses the pharmacokinetic pharmacodynamic and toxicological issues to improve the clinical utility of the lead compound it is an important step in uh, drug discovery and development a confirmed lead is used as a starting point and its toxicity potency stability bioavailability and other pharmacokinetic parameters are studied to improve its target specificity and selectivity to so the optimized leads could be uh, could undergo the further stages for drug development so let us see this uh, example the uh, first one is identification of the lead molecule for the selected target then modifications in the lead molecule to increase the drug likeness properties then you arrive at a optimized lead uh, which could be taken for further stages of drug discovery this is called lead optimization so um, in lead optimization an important uh, thing to be considered is identification of pharmacophore so let us take the morphine structure and you have to analyze which um, functional groups play a role in pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics and which is the ring which could not be disturbed uh, for, to retain its activity that is called a pharmacophoric feature so identification of pharmacophore and other functional groups are very important in lead optimization the let us uh, see an example uh, let us take this uh, as a structure you have uh, the left half and right half suppose uh, these are all assumptions uh, suppose uh, in the left side if they do the modifications that is uh, the r group is uh, given and if you do uh, substitute the r group with uh, different things so this r group is substituted with the ch3 cl f and cn and they found that you know, when when substituted with the f the biological activity is high and uh, in case of uh, the right modification modification in the right side that is r dash so when the, in in case of this r dash when they substitute with uh, ch3 they found the biological activity is high so now lead optimization refers to substitution of different functional groups such that you get a optimized lead so this is the concept of lead optimization so let us for lead optimization another factor which has to be considered which are the groups which can be substituted to increase the drug likeness properties of a Um, a lead molecule so they are called bio isosteres they replace uh, they retain the activity they alter the toxicity that is reduce the toxicity they improve the kinetic properties are called bio isosteres so uh, first example is uh, monovalent groups or atoms many may have uh, same number of atoms valency and they will be steric and electronic configurations Uh, one is a monovalent substitutions oh could be substituted with nh2 or ch3 or 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 fluorine uh, halogens could be substituted uh, instead of chlorine bromine could be substituted or iodine sh si3 or propyl tertiary butyl groups can be substituted these are monovalent substitutions and divalent substitutions include ch2 o s sc that is selenium then uh, nh cohnhr cohsr co ch2r these are divalent substitutions trivalent substitutions are double bond ch double bond n double bond p double bond as double bond antimony and tetravalent substitutions are carbon then silicon quaternary ammonium then phosphorus arsenic and antimony so let us see the divalent groups or atoms previously we have seen monovalent atoms or groups so they are c double bond example is uh, here a drug has been given that is uh, tolaristat uh, when the uh, substitution of uh, c double bond with uh, s it gives a drug called tolaristat it's aldose reductase inhibitor and in case of uh, c double bond o it is oxo tolaristat 
then another uh, example is uh, divalent uh, replacements involving single bond they can be substituted with nh ch2 or o then non classical bioisosteres they do not obey the valency or uh, the same number of atoms example is uh, carbo carbonyl uh, group so the carbonyl group uh, can be substituted with uh, different substitutions like uh, so this group can be substituted uh, s double bond o uh so2 so these have the same configuration as uh, the carbonyl groups so they can be used as bio isosteres then another one is uh, the carboxyl group uh, it is uh, it can be substituted with different functional groups which are uh, mentioned here anything could be substituted to retain the activity so these any of these functional groups could be substituted to retain the property of the carboxyl group so next is amide group so these are the substitutions for amide that is co nh2 co nh c double bond s nh2 uh, c double bond o ch2 like that you can substitute with different substitutions which to retain the activity of the amide group the next is uh, hydroxyl group hydroxyl group uh, can be substituted with nh c double bond r nh2 so2 r ch2 oh nh c double bond o nh2 nh cn or ch cn2 and then uh, the catechol uh, groups can be substituted with these substitutions to retain the activity of the catechol group like adrenaline um, noradrenaline like that then uh, halogen groups as previously in uh, we have seen now uh, fluorine chlorine bromine iodine can be substituted yes here uh, cf3 could be substituted with uh, cn or ncn twice or ccn thrice then uh, thio ether groups uh, can be substituted with uh, a plain ether or a ncn then uh, thio urea groups uh, could be substituted with uh, these substitutions to retain the property of the thio urea group and uh, azomethane group uh, can be substituted with c double bond uh, cn then uh, benzene group uh, benzene can be substituted with pyridine or uh, uh, pyrimidine or uh, thiazole or uh, like that uh, furan or um, azofuran like that they, you can you can substitute benzene with different heterocyclic rings and then pyridine group uh, can be substituted with uh, anisole or uh, benzene with nr3 like that any substitutions to retain the activity of the pyridine group is a bio isosteer then a spacer group sometimes you may increase the chain length you may use the um, ch2 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 like that you can increase the spacing or you may use the benzene spacing the next is uh, we, we will see some of the examples one is ocel tamivir let us see how lead optimization occurs so the above uh, structure is uh, uh, let us see this is ocel tamivir and uh, the r group is this chain length suppose if it gets substituted with a different substitute we will see what happens so first case is the r group uh, is uh, substituted with h the influenza a activity is very higher and there is no activity for influenza b so when then the chain length is increased with ch3 ch2 ch3 then three carbon three carbons then the activity is getting reduced when you increase the chain length then if you see here when the chain length is increased up to six carbons the influenza b activity increases so this depending upon the need the leads could be optimized for the specific biological activity this is example 1 next is uh, anti diabetics let us see uh, a lead optimization so this is the sulfonyl urea derivative of uh, anti diabetics when they are substituted uh, to yield uh, the different uh, this r is uh, r is r1 is substituted and r2 is substituted to yield different uh, anti diabetic compounds like tolbutamide chlorpropamide and you can see here when the r1 is uh, chlorine and the r2 is uh, uh, that is uh, three chain length uh, three carbons then the half life increases so this is one of the lead optimization 
then uh, aldose reductase inhibitors uh, we have seen toller stat and uh, the oxo toller stat let us see the data uh, when the this is the group which is going to get uh, substituted here from the table you can understand if it is substituted with uh, double bond yes then the activity uh, in vitro as well as in vivo activity increases so this uh, is also called an uh, lead optimization to get the optimized lead then the next is 1,4 dihydropyridines uh, which are used as anti-anginal drugs or they have anti-hypertensive uses different uses of dihydropyridines that is amlodipine, phalodipine, nifedipine like uh, drugs how they are optimized so this is the lead structure and uh, when the R group is uh, substituted so here the X group is substituted and you can see from the table when it is substituted with the double bond yes the van der waals radius increases and the ic50 value decreases so this is an example for lead optimization then there are several examples like this let us see the, them in a cluster timoprazole was taken as a lead compound from that uh, the compound derived was omiprazole the Recent, the isomer of it uh, which is available is esomeprazole then the derivative lead uh, is optimized to yield uh, lansoprazole or uh, dexlansoprazole and further modifications uh, led to the discovery of uh, pantoprazole which is used as uh, iv also then uh, it gave rise to optimizations uh, gave rise to rabiprazole and tenatoprazole then example 6 is antidepressants and antipsychotics here the lead compound was uh, imipramine and from that uh, it is it was optimized to yield uh, chlorpromazine uh, antipsychotic compound and then amitriptyline then uh, dexmitriptyline then doxapine and dothiapine so most of them are used as antipsychotics but the lead compound was a uh, antidepressant then uh, you can see the quinolone uh, antibacterials so here uh, these are the substitutions uh, as i told uh, identification of pharmacophore and the functional groups the lead molecule was uh, norfloxacin and then uh, optimization of it uh, gave rise to a blockbuster molecule uh, ciprofloxacin and then uh, further optimization led to moxifloxacin and uh, further optimization uh, led to the uh, the last quinolone derivative which is available in the market is trovofloxacin then morphine derivatives uh, the lead molecule is uh, morphine ring uh, optimization of it led to the antagonist uh, morphine antagonist naloxone and a long acting agon antagonist uh, naltrexone which is used for opiate de addiction so this is a classical uh, exam uh, explanation with examples for lead optimization uh, you can practice this, memorize this and you can utilize this in the exam point of view. I hope uh, it is a useful video. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. Uh, kindly, if you like it, uh, press the like button. Uh, kindly subscribe to our Pharma Topics channel and go through all the uh, videos which are posted related to your subject. Thank you.